Hi and welcome to Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. Today I'm going to talk about my next build in my Viewer's Choice series. Uh, this was the runner-up to the Edward Sherman M4A1 that I'm currently working on. And this was the uh, runner-up and I've decided to build it in conjunction with the Sherman. Sherman's almost finished as far as construction goes so paint will be coming up so I can switch off between the two kits and alternate the videos more or less and uh, do them both at the same time. I had quite a few people that asked if I would do the uh, Edward MiG-21 and this is the kit I'm doing. So that's the kit, the Edward 148 scale MiG-21 PFM. Um, I got this kit from my Swedish friend Peter Person. He had a uh, uh, special subscriber you know, X amount of subscribers giveaway on his YouTube channel and uh, I was the one who won the kit so I'm really stoked looking forward to getting going on this kit um, it's not easy subject matter I delve into if through no, no other reason I just never have um, so I'm really really looking forward to this kit so without further ado let's take a look at the box contents all right, first up, let's take a look at the instructions. Um, and I'm not gonna go through a bunch of detailed stuff about all this box content. It's just gonna be a real brief look. Uh, one thing I've made note of before, uh, this will be my second Edward aircraft kit. <coughs> and, uh, you know, I built a few other Edward, uh, like armor kits. Well, at least one armor kit. But I really like them, just for the fact I like their instructions. Nice glossy paper, color, it's really high quality and uh, it's nice to have the marking options in color as well um, <clears throat> on the inside here you have the blue of the items that aren't used in the kit um, on the bottom you have the color call outs and if I did have one complaint about uh, Edward it's it's their color call outs they um, their color call outs are GSI Krios uh, the goons Gunzi Gunza Gunzi, um, Aqueous, and Mr. Color lines. Uh, Mr. Color, I, I don't use lacquer paints, so those are definitely out. And the Aqueous, uh, they're just not available here in the States. I've looked, and there's there's no place to get them, so I'm going to have to do a little work on the paint, and um, I'm going to have to order some Tamiya paints because I have some formulas to make up, mix up some of these specific colors, like this interior green and stuff like that, but I'm going to have to order some paints before I can actually get started building so um, this will at least get us you know get the ball rolling um, just typical instructions blah 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 there's some photo etching here there is some uh, yeah yeah photo etch there just uh, just a lot of you know steps um, so then we get back here, uh, this is the Edward mask set and it shows where to mask everything off. Um, and then the color options. So we have A, which is uh, Vietnamese People's Army Air Force 921st Fighter Regiment 68, which is the box art um, scheme, which is a metal finish with this green camouflage slash mottling type stuff. Then we have uh, B, Czechoslovak Air Force, 11th Fighter Regiment, Zaytac Air Force Base, March 1991, which is an all metal finish. And I think this is the one I'm going to do. Um, I like the marking options. I like the fact that it's overall uh, metallic, um, you know, bare metal finish. Uh, this will be my second kit using bare metal finish, so I'm kind of looking forward to doing it and that's one of the reasons I've chosen this particular scheme uh, but I think that's what I'm gonna go with then we have Barnall Higher Air Force School uh, come in not Obi Slavgorod Air Bases Soviet Union 88 so it's kind of a tritone on top with a gray underneath then we have Egyptian Air Force Inshas Air Base, early 80s. Uh, looks like a two-tone camo with kind of a, looks like a pale blue, yeah, light blue underneath. So that one's pretty cool. And then we have Polish Air Force, 1st Squadron, 60, 62nd Fighter Regiment, Poznan, 
that word Air Force Base 1994 which is an all uh, metal finish and the reason I chose the Czechoslovakian uh, scheme is I like the tricolor uh, roundels I like the little shark face there and this uh, kind of a crest coat of arms type thing there I just I kind of like the color scheme and the yellow band uh, kind of gives it a little bit more color so that's a pretty cool kit or a pretty cool color scheme so that's what I'm gonna go with then we have ordnance and uh, then we have the uh, stencil uh, stencil variants so that's the instructions so let's take a look at the contents really quick we've got a bag of clear parts and a couple of the uh, canopies came off um, you know which can happen this the clear plastic that's used for this stuff is a lot more brittle than uh, than the regular styrene and some of this stuff's just barely hanging on so it's you know can break off easier but canopy windscreen got some uh, instrument panels indicator lights that type of thing then we have the wing sprue so we have the lower wing section the upper wing sections um, the stabilizers and uh, flaps flaps maybe ailerons but it's really nice detail even nice interior detail where the uh, landing gear goes I assume again um, Modern aircraft is just not my forte, so there's a lot of stuff I don't know about this, so excuse my ignorance. Then we have uh, fuselage halves. Looks like Sidewinder missiles, maybe. Some, or not Sidewinders, obviously, but something similar. And uh, more fuselage parts here. Some pylons. Next sprue wheels, nose cone, um, can't remember what that's called, it's part of the exhaust, it's the rear end of the fuselage where the exhaust comes out, I can't remember what it's called, um, lots and lots of small tiny parts, and we have uh, cockpit parts, more of the tail section, some bulkheads here, um, man, the detail on this stuff's really good. Then we have the looks like the ordnance sprue missiles, um, drop tanks, whatever, pylons, lots of stuff that I don't know what it is. Uh, then another one, exact same sprue. And then the last sprue is the rear upper portion of the fuselage with the tail. A lot of other small little parts. Um, lots of small parts, lots of small styrene parts. Next we have the, the mask set here for masking all the different uh, things that need to be painted around and then we have some photo edge here which is really nice so we have just some basic uh, photo etch there and then colored photo etch here so there's um, harnesses for the seat uh, this looks like the um, pull hand if I'm not mistaken the pull handle for the ejection seat side panels instrument panels more side instrument panels and then the uh, front instrument panel so those are really nice got some good uh, good color and good detail going on there and therein lies part of the problem I need to get some paint or mix up some paint that matches this so I'm gonna have to order a few uh, to me a paints to get that color so that and we have decals um, these are the stencil decals here lots 
and lots of stencil decals. And then the main markings decals. Now these are made by Cartograph, so these should be really good. I've had nothing but good luck with uh, Cartograph decals. They're all seem to be perfectly in register, nothing weird going on. Even the uh, instrument decals look really nice. So you could go either way if you didn't want to uh, use the, the photo edge. Maybe if they have a weekend edition, it doesn't come with the photo etch and you just use these instead. So those are really nice. So that's basically it as far as the contents of the box. So as I said, um, I'm ready to get going on this, but I need to uh, I need to order some paints first. So it may be you know a week or two before I actually get started on construction on this. Uh, because I'm going to need to order some paint to uh, match uh, the formulas that I've found online for doing those interior parts. And I just want to make sure I get all the colors as, as close as I can. You know, colors is one of those um, sources of never-ending contention on Facebook groups and forums and everything else. Because, boy, howdy, people just get really wound up about colors. And the exactness and intricacies of you know the different colors that are available and how much they fade and, and blah 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 so i just want to get as close as i can especially since i need to match up to the uh, instruments inside the cockpit so that's pretty much it that is the edward mig 21 pfm that i will be starting as my second viewer's choice build um, the masses have spoken on my channel and said this was the one that they wanted uh, next after the Sherman or in conjunction with it so that's it I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step build on this one so it'll be a lengthy process but you know there's people that want to see it from beginning to end so that's the way I'm gonna do it so stay tuned and as soon as I get those paints I'll get cracking on it so if you have any questions comments suggestions hints tips etc please put them in the uh, comments section down below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can so as always thank you for watching plastic models by a regular dude and I will see you all later